what's up Africana fam, Young Africana back at it again with another video and today I'll be teaching you guys how to do a half up half down quick weave on natural 4C hair. Yes you guys, I'm going to take you guys from this to this and this hair is sponsored by Supernova Hair and I have their Brazilian in 224s and a 22 inch. Now follow my sis Essie Esta, this is also her YouTube channel, she also has a YouTube channel as well. She does hair, makeup, and fashion. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I blew out my client's hair off camera, and you want to make sure that you don't skip this step because this ensures her sleekness at the end. You want to make sure that your look is very sleek. But um, right now I'm just parting out her part where I'm going to be leaving out her hair. As you guys can see it's very minimal and I feel like it's natural friendly because she won't get as much heat damage. Now what I'm doing is parting her hair for the braiding pattern that I'm about to do. The braiding pattern that I'm going to be using is a beehive. And the braids that I'm doing are small to medium size. You want to make sure that they're pretty small so your result could be very flat once you're doing your quick weave. So this is how your braid should look after you're done. I'm going to tuck the remaining braid in her braid. I'm not going to sew it down. And now I'll be using rapid wrapping paper and wrapping the parts where her braids are. And this is to ensure protection from the glue. <laughs> this is so much fun. Then on top of that we'll be using a stocking cap. And this is to ensure extra security from the glue and after that I'll be sewing down the perimeter of her braid so once we cut it off the excess um, cap and wrapping paper um, that part where her braids are should stay now I'll be taking my spritz and spraying that all over the cap and this just gives the cap a tacky feel so the glue can adhere better to it now onto the tracks I'll be laying my tracks very close together and using my blow dryer to blow it so it could dry faster and you want to make sure that you're doing this in a U shape or a smiley shape so make sure you do this so your hair could fall more towards your face and this will give it the illusion that your hair is more in the front and I'm gonna continue to do this smiley shape all the way until I reach the top of the first anchor braid Now I'll be going to her leave out and I'll be parting out the parts where we're going to be covering the tracks with and I'm going to spray that with my Chi Fusion Heat Protectant Spray and my Garnier Fructis Sleek Serum and I'm going to use that all over her hair and then flat iron it. Now I'll be proceeding to flat iron the rest of her leave out where it'll be put in the ponytail. And I'm just going section by section trying to flat iron her hair. And most try to catch the roots so it can be straight as possible. And this is how you get your sleek look when you do your ponytail. Now I'll be going in with my Murray's beeswax. And again like how I sectioned it, I'll be sectioning her hair and putting the beeswax all over her hair so once we sleek it in the ponytail everything could be really sleek and <laughs> snatched for me i know my voice is really killing y'all right now it's killing me too but i wanted to keep up the consistency with you guys because that's the least i owe you guys now just be taking a scrunchie and then tying her hair into a ponytail now I'm braiding down her leave out and I'll be wrapping it into a little tiny bun and this little tiny bun will pretty much be our anchor for the extensions that we'll be adding onto our ponytail and I'm just adding a little bit of spritz just so everything can stay put.
Now I'll be using my Hicks Edge Control and my baby hair brush. I live by this brush and I'll just be sneaking down her baby hairs. Now I use the same wrapping paper around her bun just because we'll be using glue to attach the extensions onto her bun. And what I'm doing right now is just I'm adding glue onto the track and then wrapping it around and I'm doing it very closely so you won't be able to see the wrapping paper. And I'll be adding glue onto the wrapping paper as well just to kind of make the process a little bit faster. And you're just going to keep on wrapping and wrapping until you get to the bottom. I'll be taking a piece of her hair and flat ironing it and this is going to pretty much conceal the track and I'll be adding some serum onto it just to give it a nice shiny feel so it could look very sleek and I will be wrapping it around her bun and like I said it will be concealing the track part that you see right now and you guys will see that in the next clip. So you're just going to continue to wrap tightly and then I'll be using the spritz as pretty much like as a glue so the hair can stick and hold on and won't unravel. And I'm just going to keep on turning and turning until I tuck it underneath it so I don't have to use bobby pins. That's the lazy way but it doesn't come off so yeah. Now that that's done, I'll be using my Hot Tools Marcel Iron and I'll be curling her hair. And don't mind me if I'm using it wrong, y'all. Like, I'm still learning on how to use this Marcel Iron. It is not as easy as it looks. So, yes, bear with me. As y'all can see, these curls are extra should pop in and bouncy. And on each side, I'm just making sure I'm curling away from the face. This just gives it nice, appealing, you know, Kim K kind of curls. Then I'll be taking a wide tooth comb and I'll just be combing out those curls just to give it a nice, bouncy look. And these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so proud of myself because the real gag of this is that this is my first time ever attempting this kind of hairstyle. Especially on a natural head. So yes, I want to thank all the YouTubers for teaching me your ways and your wizardry. You know, you guys helped me achieve this flawless look on my first attempt. So I hope you guys found this very informative. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
And also subscribe to her channel at Essie Esta. She also does hair and makeup as well. She's bomb. So go check her out. I'll see you guys in the next segment.